it's good for performance to bring in heat into the cycle at high temperatures, bring in all of your Q in high temperatures, and reject all of your Q at low temperatures. So if you push that, if you keep that concept, then you see how to try to improve the performance of the Rankine cycle, so on a temperature entropy diagram with the dome at high pressure line and low pressure line, instead of taking saturated liquid and passing it through the turbine, go ahead and superheat it because as you superheat it, that amount of heat is coming in at relatively high temperatures. That's going to be good for performance, superheating. When you do that also, it's good for performance. You get higher quality on the exit. Now, it doesn't really do well if you have superheated vapor still on the exit because you're going to put that into a condenser and uh, this heat is being rejected at a little higher temperature than it needs to be. So, um, but the idea is to uh, put in heat as high temperature as possible. You can achieve that by superheating. Also, we're going to talk about later is when you put it through the pump, uh, there's a lot of heating that goes on to bring the liquid up to the boiling point at that pressure. And this heat right here is into the system. It's coming in at a relatively low temperature and you don't you would like to look for on a, a strategy for um, fixing that. So the strategies we'll talk about today are superheat, so you're going to superheat the steam, not just have saturated vapor going into the turbine, but it'll be superheated. And then what they call regeneration. And that is using some lower um, value steam to mix with the feed water before it goes into the steam generator to try to bring up that temperature of the feed water from here up to there without using the heat source from maybe your coal or natural gas or nuclear uh, power plant. We'll say one of the strategies, if you, then there's a metallurgical consideration. So what you'll do is you'll superheat it to the maximum that you can, and then you'll expand it to an intermediate pressure. So you'll have another pressure line like this. You'll expand it down and then reheat it and then expand it. So you're bringing in more heat at a relatively high temperature by reheating, reheat. So superheat, reheat, and regeneration are three strategies to improve the thermal performance.